Hey, this is the DIY Magician, and we have another quick tip for puppeteers or crafty people in the audience. That's right, where do you find those eyes and noses and things like that to put on your handmade puppets? Well, here they are. These are from the 50 cent bin at my local uh, thrift store. And if you'll notice, there's some pretty cool eyes and noses here on these animals. This one has big doe eyes like that. Uh, this is a little one here, a little plastic nose. Uh, another one here, some eyeballs and nose. Uh, this cat, really nice uh, bluish eyes there, that type of thing. Not a nose on this one. But all you have to do is go through with a sharp pair of scissors and remove these. I've got a whole tub of these things. I want to make sure that they get um, uh, sorted out and this and that so what I'm gonna do is just dig in there with a pair of scissors and cut the eyeballs out it's that simple the only reason I got these animals these stuffed animals was for the eyeballs and the noses and this and that so uh, this is the best way to do it now if you're just going through say you go through and you get a, a selection of these you don't need to go and hang on to the animal uh, unless you need it. Um, so you can just go ahead and uh, trim the uh, pieces out. And then what I do is I take the uh, stuffing material and I put it in a big garbage bag so I know that I've got stuffing for other projects. And then some of the material I might keep, like this one here has got a lot of this black fur uh, I might keep that. I might use it for something else down the line. But um, I wanted to get the two eyeballs uh, off. Okay. Now the way they're designed is they have a uh, little um, kind of a plastic uh, sleeve right here. If you look in the back, it kind of compresses around a over a post. Now what they've done, it looks like, is when they put the eyeball on, they took it and heated it on an iron. So what you need to do is just trim that end off, pull that off, and then when you are ready to make a puppet, you would uh, stick it back uh, through the material, shove the little collar on, and away you go. You could just put a little dab of hot glue on the on the back of the eyeball there. Now, so that's that. Now, uh, what you also might want to do is because if you start collecting uh, these eyeballs, you put them in a big box, and they're gonna get separated out. So what I like to do is uh, put companion pieces in a uh, small uh, a snack Ziploc bag. These are kind of a strange one. These are from uh, the great, uh, um, great value from Walmart. Uh, they don't have the bags that are sideways where you open them up and you dig in. They've got them like this. I like these for this purpose. It keeps them uh, easily organized. Um, to do your thing now uh, again we've got this little guy here we're gonna do the same but I'm gonna cut the nose off of this one and we're gonna use that for a, another project down the line uh, as I continue with uh, collecting parts and pieces I will start making and showing you videos of how to make more uh, puppets again the nose you see the nose is right there uh, they did the same thing. Uh, they, they they heated up this little end so the collar wouldn't come off and the nose fall off. Okay, so that's that. And then you just do the same with the um, the eyeball. Uh, just trim around the outside of the eyeball so that you can put all three pieces in the same bag. Okay, there's an eyeball there. And then you've got one here. Now, um, the only negative thing is when you start tearing apart all these animals and you start taking the eyeballs and those off and this and that, uh, it starts to, um, to look a little creepy. So let me show you here. Let me get the... Uh, there it is. Get the two uh, eyes and the nose together now you don't have to use the nose with the eyeballs but again it's a good idea to just kind of hang on to them at the same time so you can uh, keep it better organized there you go uh, this is the, the the drawback is you get these little creepy little dolls afterwards that um, 
<laughs> they look creepy. So anyways, that's what it is. So if you want to uh, start making your own puppets using the method of uh, making a glove puppet and sewing it on, that's the way you, you would uh, use the eyeballs and the nose and things like that to make your puppets. Well, hey, thank you very much for coming along. I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who have been with us before, of always, thank you. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you for coming, and uh, please subscribe for updates. Uh, again, this is the DIY Magician. Until next time.